Well, happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to the weekend. Started things off and it was nasty today. You had the low clouds. You had the fog, drizzle, rain, heavy at times in the east. This is what we're left with. Still some overcast skies, but the visibility has improved this evening. Upper 30s to low 40s. You can see the areas in the western Kentucky dealing with some clear sky. You've dropped it into the 30s where the clouds are a little thicker across eastern Kentucky. We're still low 40s, so we're seeing the clouds beginning to erode from west to east. So tomorrow, we're going to at least try to get some partial sunshine, especially the farther south and west that you go. But those clouds are going to try to build back in as the afternoon wears on. Fox radar picture. Let's go into eastern Kentucky. Rain down 460, down parts of the Mountain Parkway. Get into southeastern Kentucky. Check this out. That's a little bit of pink, a little white showing up across the high ground on top of the Virginia border. So Black Mountain, Pine Mountain may turn a little white later tonight and early tomorrow morning as that ele higher elevation gets in on a little bit of wet snow. This, by the way, is coming on the back edge of our storm that is now into the Carolinas. You know what's going to happen to this storm? This is going to turn into a New England nor'easter. That is going to plaster parts of New England with several inches of wet snow. Weak cold front dropping its way on in from northwest to southeast. Follow the future radar. It tries its best to get that clearing in here. Then all of a sudden, some clouds are going to build back up, especially into central and northeastern Kentucky. Farther southwest you go, we'll have a little more in the way of some sunshine. Those clouds then thicken up into early on Sunday. Here's what we're tracking for you. It's colder than normal weekend. It's nothing that's out of the ordinary in terms of the cold, though. Nothing we can't handle. Couple of flake chances got that stuff tonight, tomorrow morning in the east. Then again, as we go into Sunday night and Monday, let me show you what that looks like because it's a system that doesn't have a lot of juice. It's going to drop its way on in from the northwest out the door tomorrow morning, low and mid 30s where the sky is clear. Notice how the clouds try to return. Here's the situation for tomorrow. Sunshine, you're 40 to 45. Cloud cover, you're 35 to 40. That is the difference this time of year that clouds can make. So the temperatures may be kind of all over the place. One number not going to fit everybody, so we'll split the difference. Into Sunday, more in the way of clouds. Here comes the second system. Sunday night into Monday, I think this can spit out at least some snow flurries and maybe a little light snow across the south and southeast on Monday. That is nothing that should cause any kind of problem. Look at that, Marvin. By the time we get toward the middle and end of next week, Hey, it's a prolonged stretch of maybe a little sunshine. The thermometer could make a run at 50 degrees by the end of next week, too. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people will welcome that. Yeah, we need it. Thank you, Chris. You bet.